This is a poem about my beautiful family, and it is titled, A Toast. Part one. He said he had thought she was the ugliest human being ever created. That she looked so old and tired. She was his peer in her 20s. A young soldier can barely read with a salary of 63 cents. Military man of good deeds, he was prestigious. She had been married once before. He wanted no sloppy seconds. When they met, she had a sense of pride. She spoke with her head held high. His father, well known for his respect, valor, and manner, had imposed on him to marry her. Her, who was cast out by her first husband because she had a miscarriage. A cast out from the community because she had a miscarriage. So, his father had seen her strength and her courage, and he gave his son no option but to take her hand in marriage. <laughs> Furniture he never bought, a buffet she probably could not afford, but she did. She was working when he was away, independent of his support, independent of his pay. She had made him a home. He fell for her. He spent most of his life winning her over, attempting to redeem himself from his first impression of her. She was my grandmother. Part two. She was a smart kid. A high school student who had just gotten her period. At 14, she had skipped so many grades from high school, she graduated. So full of love and pride, her parents decided to make her a bride. He was in his late 30s. A bank man from the heart of Addis. At the age of 20, four children at her side, she again graduated with her mind urging her to read a library filled with books of Dickens, religion, management, language, efficiency. He had loved her for her independence. She had taken on tough jobs, had beer alone at a bar. Mind you, it was a different time. She drove her own car. He spent the rest of his life trying to win over his hand-picked wife. She is my mother. Part three. Thankfully, traditional arranged marriages are so out one would think. I once spent two hours explaining to a deacon I had just been introduced to by a priest why I couldn't marry him in two years. I also hid from a Sudanese who, from checking my booty out, decided I was one of them and asked me out of the country to be his second wife. It's a modern world in a modern light, so reflect on part one and part two. What's hidden in plain sight? Don't get me wrong, I do not condone arranged marriages, but I have learned from previous generations, it is not sexy to be a parasite. I thrive off my own efforts, hence the struggle for independence. I am the daughter and granddaughter of great, strong women, educated. So a toast to independence. The man I am here, I desire what I have the world of God. Yeah, I need this farm at all. I've never been willing. It Oh, 
Satisfied.